Hi, it's Amanda here, obviously, the creative gardener. So I'm at the front of the house and I'm making some um, changes um, in the sense of putting some plants in that I've wanted to put in for a while and um, loads of other plants have grown. So I'm going to show you um, what I'm up to. I'm not going to be showing you me digging the holes or anything. I've dug some of the holes, um, but there's plants that I've been growing in the back that I now one in the front because they're not um they don't give food i mean they have some properties um but they're things like the bougainvillea that i want to kind of with the combination of another plant um sort out the hedge and then just some other decorative um plants that i've got around there so let's get started so these fountain grasses, I've got two, one's already in place. Um, I've been growing in pots. They don't really like being in pots. And this one is basically going to go round to the front. I'll show you. Um, these uh, paddle plants um, have been growing. I brought one plant and over the year have developed into these. So they kind of develop and spread form little pups that will go on to be as big as this so um, when I'd initially put it in there there was like three in each and now look what's happened so what I want to do is the pots that I have here I've got three pots I'm going to be placing them along the side here temporarily I want to get some bigger concrete pots and have you know some at least say four or five along this particular point because no other plants can grow because it's just gravel eventually i'd love to either put maybe a raised bed but i'm not sure maybe i'm thinking pots will be good for now so up to where there's a bit where i can start growing there all of these there's going to be like say five pots so initially what i'm going to do is to put the paddle plant in the three pots that I've got that look like that so I've got to remove the plants the rest of them I'm going to along here build a kind of rockery with small containers with these plants in that are going to eventually grow but surround them with rocks and that will look pretty rather than having the weeds growing I've already cleared this once and the weeds are growing back so the rocks are going to be moving forward up to about this line and then you're going to have the paddle plants all along here um, the other thing is that what this was initially was there was a slope here and it went under the house and so we've kind of leveled it off so i still need to add some of the smaller rocks at the back build it up and then bring the bigger rocks forward. Okay, so this is the exciting part where you actually change the landscape. And I'm, I was a bit hesitant and it was just like, oh my gosh, you know, am I able to do this? And I had to say to myself, well, there was nothing here to begin with. And over time, there were, the only thing that was here was the Frankie Pani tree. And over time, I've placed the Mexican sunflower around the edge because I wanted to start, because it grows quickly, I wanted to develop a hedge feel and also get some privacy. But um, I planted them at the end of the rainy season and then we had the dry season and they hadn't been doing as well. But since we've gone back into the rainy season, they're picking up. And I had to say to myself, look, you did that and you did this you know so i've got some fountain grass here already and they're growing and um in between them i placed um i've been given uh three palms uh date part no they weren't date palms and um they haven't really they did they died basically they were traumatized i left it too late so i'm going to be putting in there's um i can't remember the name of it but it's a, it's slow growing but it grows into a kind of tropically palm um, tree so I've got three of I've got four of them actually but I'm gonna be putting the three of them here and then I've got as I said I've got the two um, 
fountain grass and I'm going to put one here so you've got four and three and then I thought I would put another one here um, and then along this bit here is going to be the um, bougainvillea and I'm toying with the bougainvillea and um, another plant which is similar to the um, uh, what's it called orange blossom that we have in England but it's that tree there so you can either have it as a bush or you can have it as a tree so that's what I'm going to be doing here for now I've got some more spiky plants um, I'll show you this particular one now I've got a few more of these I'm going to make a feature here so I'm going to dig some more holes and then I've got the lead tree I've got this here and this particular hole that I dug I'm thinking I might put the candlestick plant so you have like the yellow and then you've got the green around it and then not finally but um, and I'm I doubt if I'll be able to do it today I've added the grass so that um, the grass that was cut so that it dies down and it keeps the grass that's grown along here um, there's some soil here so I'm toying with the scarvola which is can you know grows into a hedge and this one's been doing from three cuttings it's been doing really well I've got the Mexican sunflower as well and and the this is called mother-in-law's tongue that's the local name um, so here I want I like this this scarvola so I might just I've got look I can just make loads of cuttings and it grows pretty well and um, yeah so changing the landscape developing the landscape do not be afraid this is the um, river tamarind this you're looking at is thousands of seeds so I'm just leaving it here for them to compost down and die down whether they grow I, what I probably think I'd, I'll do is just try and you know grow them so that they stay at a particular height so just control it and whenever what I've been um, doing is whenever you see the seeds form just pick them off well just pick them off basically they're all the seeds in there um, and I've yet to find yet to look up the properties but I know it has some so they will be beneficial so I'm just leaving this here for now I don't have to worry about it too much I've thrown some um, broadleaf thyme on which will find its way and start growing so this area is just going to be um, just to provide a bit of seclusion but not obstruct you know your view so that if some <laughs> so if somebody was lurking behind there then you could see them but um yeah just making the changes as you go along and um and not getting overwhelmed because things grow like as i say this here is from two cuttings and look at it it's just really developed and grown and it likes it and it spreads and and greatly which is really great for me then it's spreading along here so I'm just gonna allow that to do its thing and then maybe plant something here so when you look at again this is all on a budget and you might think to yourself well how did you do that I mean when I said to you um, well I said in the past that I did a course at the Andromeda Gardens and they gave us loads it was it was really worth it it was $120 and the amount of things that they gave you to cut that you came away with was brilliant one of the things was the Mexican sunflower and out of one stick I've just completely totally filled the garden with it and it's really great so for that investment there are some things that you can make an investment in that will definitely repay over and over again the other things that i got um i had i went away sort of like 
two weeks after and so I wasn't able to um, manage them but the rest of things are from you know where I used to live I had a cut in of this and now I've got several plants um, and don't, don't be afraid to morning <laughs> don't be afraid to you know ask for a cut in or ask for seeds these grow from seeds I haven't I haven't grown them from seed but they grow just from a cut in you know and I'm quite willing to give people cut ins if if they ask I gave somebody some um, Mexican sunflower cuttings because it just grows so well um, I've got what have I got here I've got the this is elephant ears um, this has been struggling but it's been growing back so I thought let me pay some extra special attention to it and um, you know nurture it and now it's you know growing back again but I got um, I went to a, it was a furniture store and they had it just growing out wild so I said can I take a few um, pieces and they were just like yeah you know um, so you can do you can grow on a budget obviously you have to have some um, a start off you know a, an initial investment but you put in that initial investment and you'll get back so my task is to change this environment and use the plants that have been growing that I got cuttings from all the plants that I'm putting out here the ones that I'm gonna fill I got cuttings from I um, put them in the ground allowed them to, to set as it were and um, now we go so I'm gonna get on with it and I will show you some images after they're they've put in um, the things that I put in the holes I dug the holes and I put in the Mexican sunflower um, and that's just to give them a good start and then I'm gonna lay the Mexican sunflower around it and then water them in Okay, so I'm going to get started. Let's go. Okay, that's, this is interesting. So this is the um, fountain grass. And I've just taken it out of the pot. And look at the root system. That's how, like a lot of these grasses, how, um, you know, they grow so, uh, with roots so deep. That um, it's hard to get them out. And you have to try and cut them out of... Um, the soil to get them to um, to get rid of them they're very difficult to get rid of just as well <laughs> I don't need to get rid of these two um, that I'm now putting into the ground anyway so I'm gonna get on take off the top layer um, yeah, it really didn't like being in the pot. Uh, okay, so let's get going. Okay, so one down, one job down. I've put three of these uh, plants in. I did find out the name. I'll pop, pop it up on the screen. So this was the biggest one, and it's growing um, some side shoots, two side shoots as well. So they kind of grow into a like a tree. They're slow growing, so that's actually fine. We've got the... Um, electric wire um, here so I don't want it growing too big and we'll cut it as necessary and with the fountain grass I've just cut them back a bit um, I noticed with one that I had around the back that's going like this um, I cut it because it was just like nearly seven foot and um, cut it right back and it's growing well so that is the first job done i've freed up the pots so now i'm going to um, try and work with the paddle plants and move those so i'm very pleased with my efforts so far